if you allow amazing and make sure you zoom in mic. But yeah, I will be showing you the two main things for advanced movement in this game, and I'll be showing you some examples where you can just freaking break the map because that's goofy. So first we're off on nuke, let's just get straight up into freaking breaking this game. Uh, as supposed to be, you know, you can just, you know, freaking F11 clip through like some of these like bars right here. But, but that's lame. Why would you wanna why would, why would you wanna do that? And you can do a much more skillful option. And we'll be starting off with the moon jump. Um, I actually made a guide, but I let, um, you know, the Kirka Regional YouTube channel, which is owned by Purple, I think, I uh, use my video instead, so you can go ahead and check that out if you want, like, a more in-depth, you know, description of how to moon jump. But basically what a moon jump is, is when you slide, and then you jump after your slide, but basically, so, you slide, and then you let go of slide, and you jump, but you want to do it fast, so for example, here, I'll do one, like, right here. So I'm gonna go like that. If you notice, I, I went forward a bit, but I also went high. And if we do just like a normal jump, I, I kind of I kind of just go like that. And if I new jump, I go a lot further. I will be doing this to escape the map without even having to put through some iron bars. What I have to do, just do a moon jump and then dash off of this. Well, I kind of screwed that up, but it's whatever. You see, and now we're here. And then you can dash over there and dash over there. Although technically you could move up over there too. And then just dash over here. And boom, uh, I screwed up. But you get the idea, you're out of the map. Amazing. Anyways, next map. Now this is one of the newer maps or whatever, or Zenith, or whatever. Uh, I was like kind of screwing around. I was like, I wonder if I can do this. And then, yes, I could do in fact what I thought I could do. <laughs> and for that, we'll be showing you the second thing of movement in this game. This is a lot more niche, but it can be used for escaping maps and stuff. And I call this like just like um a wall clip. Basically it's where you just like rub against a corner like that. And technically you're clipped like one pixel inside of this block by just rubbing against it. But what that allows you to do is it allows you to stand on like one block holes like this. You just rub up against that and you can stand like on there because you're like technically one pixel inside of the wall. Yep, see? And we can use this to our advantage on this map by standing on that one and then freaking escaping the map. So let's go ahead and do that. And you will need to do a moon jump also. What you want to do is do a moon jump and like rub up against this corner and dash. Or I think you dash before you actually touch the wall, but we'll, we'll see. I don't think it did. Yeah, I didn't even take the corner there. Let's try that again. Go here, moon jump, make sure you hit the corner. Not like that, we're standing on that, and we just jump over here, and boom, you added the map. Amazing. Wow. You can be extremely annoying with the Vita, let me just see that. Anyways, next map. This one is extremely easy to escape. There's like so many methods. But the easiest one uh, I know is probably just to go like this, and then go like this, and then dash over here, and boom, we're already out of the map. You can see this giant L that the map creator left you. <laughs> what a great history. Anyways, that's literally all for this map. Got the highest, like, you know, times on this. And the world record also uses this method. Where you just go over here. Oh, there's nothing interesting as you go through here. It's normally just speedrun, speedrun moment. Yeah, I feel this stuff more action today. But this is here where it is. So, most people, what they do is go here. And they like dash over there, or they go here, or over there, but basically you have to use two dashes. One to get like over there, and over there, but what we do is we only use one dash, because what we do is we moon jump off of this iron bar, go straight over there, and then we do another moon jump to over there to avoid using a second dash, and that saves quite a decent amount of time, so yeah. Okay, actually, okay, yeah, there we go. Alright, let's like this. Anyways, so let me try that again. They go over here, and we do another big jump over here, and then boom over here. That's how they do cave faster than normal. But yeah, I'll go on to the next part for now. This uh this map is also one that this one saves a lot of time though, like it <laughs> literally cuts all the times in half. Uh what you do is you go over here, go over here, and yeah, I screwed up. But uh, let me go ahead and try that again. <laughs> you get the checkpoints. But yeah, you wanna go over here. And then you're gonna jump into that little thing, and then you're gonna do a wall, a wall clip into there. So you're like a little bit inside of the wall, and then you can jump on that thing, and then jump on that vine, and then boom, you're out of the map. It's, it's kind of annoying to do since you have to get used to like rubbing against that corner at the right angle. 
Um, it's, <laughs> it's what stopped all the other people from running this map too much because it is extremely annoying. Although I did manage to, I do have the world record on no slide for this right now. I could probably get like an 18 second run and with slide. But yeah, I kind of go over here, go like this, and do me <laughs> freaking deep prison. But yeah, I'll go on to the, probably the last one I'm going to talk about. I mean, there is another interesting one, but I'm really too lazy to cover that right now. I need to get back to grinding. So I'll go ahead and show you that one more map now. Uh, this map is probably, yeah, the last one I'm going to be talking about. And it has probably the biggest skip out of all of these because most runs are like um minute 40 or whatever uh, i haven't really practiced on this one because i really just don't care about doing runs on this one right now since it takes a while and a lot of practice but most runs i would say i think the world record right now because i haven't submitted a run for this although i've gone faster than the world record is i think like one minute and like maybe 10 seconds or something like that i don't remember but it's over a minute but with this, if you could do it first try, which you probably can, I might do like a run and record it later, but you could probably get like 20 seconds, which is literally three times, over three times faster than like the world record right now. But basically I do a wall clip on these things and you just kind of go across here. Make sure not to like fall in because you can't really get back out of like that row down there. So you do, and this is like the stupidest part about it. This is what makes it so like almost no one can do this shortcut. Is that, as you can tell, you're currently standing on one goddamn pixel. So what you have to do is you have to slide and jump at the same time, basically. And then we do, and then instantly dash around that corner. But you have to time it like right as you touch the floor, otherwise you kind of flop. Let's see if I can do it. Oh no, I screwed it up. I finally got it. Okay, uh, you can enjoy the non sped up clip now. So, as you can see, I finally got it. It requires a very tight dash around that corner where you basically clip into that corner. I'll explain a little bit more in corner clipping after this section. It's nothing important, but yeah, I'll talk about it now. So, since I completed that misery of a shortcut, I'll talk to you about the little thing that you need to do when you're attempting a shortcut on that corner. Is because, see, the thing is, you actually can't make that it's not possible by just going or like say you went like this and then you dash you, you that's actually not possible what you have to do is actually when you're jumping off of that you only make it about like halfway like right here but in parkour game modes if you dash while well, like in this like little section like that's directly on the corner you can actually clip into the wall that's not a good example right there because like i kind of fell through like i'll go do it like right here as you can tell i'm wedged in the wall and when you do the glitch, you actually go through the wall and then you land on the iron bar below. So you have to make sure you're able to do that. But yeah, just, just make sure you're able to do that. But that's basically all that I'm going to talk about. And yeah, have fun escaping the map, I guess. <laughs> this is a freaking video.